Hi guys! So today's video is actually is specifically for the incoming Hansai Gaidai students. It's going to be a quick, fast, rapid pace video just saying quick tips about your first week, first few days coming into the university, as well as if you're looking for a particular, particular place to go do shopping, uh, food, groceries, haircut, all that stuff. I'll just do some quick links really quick. If you guys want more details, shoot me a message and if you're interested, keep watching. So let's be honest here, the first time you guys come here, it's going to be really fun. It will be probably orientation week, the 27th or 25th, 27th of August or yeah. So you guys are going to go out drinking to like Cafe Istanbul, you guys are going to go out to like Seven Gods which you guys will know that's one of the, it will be one of the more popular places to go drink in the very first ones which is actually near the school before you go into the east entrance. It's actually right here and it says Cafe Instable and Seven Gods but you guys will figure it out because everyone, everyone goes there and the people who were there in the last term will probably bring you guys there and every day maybe you guys will go drinking, try karaoke. So I honestly brought $500 um, equivalent so like yeah. $500, 5,000 yen on the first few for orientation week and I didn't even go drinking that much. I went once and it was gone before actual school started. I went to Osaka or the main part Shinsaibashi once and it was like gone. So I try, you should bring $500 as an emergency and remember you need 2,000 yen to get onto the shuttle bus back to the dorms when you, they get, when you get picked up at the airport. But try not to spend all your $500, like make sure you're keeping track of your money and maybe you should make like a spreadsheet. I know it's really un annoying with looks I travel so, um, but it actually goes a long way in saving your money. I did it and it really helps you in the long end. So maybe bring $500 if you don't want to save, if you have a lot of money, so bring more. But I lost, or I used it up before the main part of school started. Other grocery stores you can go to if you guys want more info on this, I'll do a separate video on grocery stores. But the closest one to, seminar, to the seminar houses, especially seminar house 4, is a place called Sanko. And it's really, that's one of the cheapest places to go. It also has a dollar store inside Sanko. And then further down there, there's also a place called Kansai Super. And that's cheaper than Top World, which is closer towards... Um, the school, if you go past the entrance of the school and you just keep going straight up that hill, it's going to be called Top World and it has a lot of the important goods, but it's much, much more expensive. So I highly recommend going the other way towards the seminar houses to go to Kansai Super and Sanko. And actually the other place, which is also near towards the other entrance of the school, which is near the front gate, towards the main street when you take bus 12, it is actually called Fresh. So that's another grocery store and near that area, there's a lot of convenience stores and convenience stores are going to save your life. So you're going to pick things up there all the time when you're hungry when, and so check out um, Lawson $100 or 100 yen Hayaku and store. So a lot of the food, even produce and just like quick things to reheat is for 100 yen, chips, instant noodles, lifesaver. So check that place out which is actually across fresh and it's towards turning left towards the uh, east entrance of the school. Probably you guys are so confused, so I want to do a separate video on all that. But remember the names, Lawson Yakuen Store, then the Fresh, and then there's Top World, which is the most expensive, Sanko, which is the cheapest, Kansai Super, and that's the other ones towards the seminar houses. So if you guys want groceries, check those places out towards the first week. But when you get there, you're actually going to have an orientation, grocery orientation in um, Top World, and that is you'll familiar, familiarize yourself there. And then if you guys want a haircut badly, um, so a lot of the places in front of the school, Main Street, are a little expensive, but there's a place I highly recommend. I got my hair um, there twice each term, and the guy there, I didn't catch his name, but he's really shy, but he's really funny once you get to know him, and he doesn't speak a, li a little, I uh, doesn't speak a lot of English, and I know that's really scary and daunting considering it's our hair, and especially if you're a girl, you can totally understand me when I say, it's really scary to get haircuts, you get stress, you get anxiety. But there's a place and it has kind of like a billboard and it's towards the main strip as well um, of the fresh grocery uh, store. And it's called Chavis. It's on the sign so you can see it. And it's a really small store and there's only like one guy, maybe no bachan, who works inside. And they have a lot of discounts and even little cards. I'll show you guys in a separate video for students if you want to cut, perm, color. There's a lot of different things. So it's really cheap. You can get a haircut for maybe $20. $30 even with hair color 
if you want a perm, there's a lot of different things you can do. It's one of the cheapest and he's really good because it's one guy and he really takes his time. Just make sure you have to reserve in advance and then you can probably go stop there after school or anything like that. But the other places that look super fancy, they're most likely, they are really fancy. I asked for a cut one time just to see how much it would cost and it's about $60. And then just imagine doing more hair um, styling, etc. on top of that washing, it would be around maybe $100. So just check Sharice out. I definitely recommend it. And um, I love, he's a really nice guy. If you go there, tell him that Bettina said to go there. Maybe he remembers me, but say, it's me. <laughs> and so I wanted to actually do a video of that place um, before I went home, but it was really stressful packing and I couldn't do it and I really regret it. But so those are the places, Cherise, highly recommend for haircut, even for guys. My friend Alex actually got a haircut there, so it's good for girls and guys. And so yeah, so copy grocery stores. Ah, shopping for clothes. For near areas, towards the center house floor, before you go down the hill, past going towards, if you go towards a grocery store on your first day there as the orientation, you're gonna pass it. It's called Chimamora and the Bale, and there's a lot of cheap clothing there, and it's really stylish, and trust me, when you go there, you're gonna be like, wow, all this Japanese fashion for so cheap, and you're gonna wanna buy so many things, but hold on to your money because it's really shocking. It's good to just see what kind of fashion Japan has to offer when you go to like Shinsai Bashi and all that stuff. Just look around for a shop around, see what's your style. Don't just buy things because they look cool because you're gonna waste a lot of money if you just shop at everything in Shimomura. So yeah, definitely take your time in there. Don't go crazy. I know it's really, I did and I regretted some of those things I don't wear anymore, but just shop around and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun. If you have any questions about contact Garda, shoot them at me. And yeah, so shoot me a message. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram for pictures of where you guys want to go. And Twitter. And make sure to subscribe for more updates or questions. And I'm actually going to be on the contact group. I'll put the link down below if you guys have any questions. I'm really happy to answer any questions and put them in the videos. And thank you for watching. Bye!